Could you tell us a little bit what your keynote lecture is going to be about? The King of Lecture. The King of Lecture. The lecture that you're going to see. Yes, uh, I think it's a King of Lecture, which is uh, principally uh, to explain to the people <laughs> what is the contemporary situation in the world and uh, how is it possible to change this situation. And so we have, if you want, two parts. First, uh, what is the situation today? What is the crisis? Uh, and so on. And uh, second, is there some hope to go beyond all that? <laughs> um, is there some hope? You, you know, I am a philosopher. And I, I think that uh, the business of a philosopher is to be optimistic. <coughs> because if you are pessimistic, uh, finally uh, there is no use of yourself. <laughs> because uh, to be pessimistic, uh, there is uh, no necessity uh, to be a philosopher. The situation suffices. <coughs> And so uh, to, to say to, to people something which can be useful for them, uh, we must have some hope to transform the world and to go in the direction of a better world, if it is possible. The question of possibility, finally, is a, a material a question, a political question, and not completely a philosophical question. Um. How do you see the crisis? What's wrong with the world? What? What's wrong with the world? What's the crisis in the world? I think there is two different levels for the crisis. There is an objective level, which is the crisis of capitalism uh, today. The financial crisis and uh, all that. And I think there is also a subjective crisis, which is not Uh, immediately the same thing. There is something uh, like a disorganization of life, a disorganization of thinking, uh, an obscure vision of the future. I think this is the most important point, because for uh, all young women and men in the world today, the future is really obscure. Can we continue as now? It's not uh, really exciting. <laughs> Can uh, we invent something really different? But it's not unclear. It's unclear. Um, uh, all the politicians, all the governments and so on, has uh, only the idea to continue. <coughs> to continue if it is possible. But to continue only is uh, to repeat, if you want, the situation is not uh, really a good future for uh, young men and women of today. So the philosopher had also to, to say, okay, there is a crisis, but if we cannot modify immediately the objective crisis, because uh, we are not uh, so, so powerful <laughs> to do something like that, uh, we can modify the subjective level of the crisis, and to propose new ideas, new vision, new forms of life uh, for uh, uh, humankind. Uh, can you tell us what, what sort of new forms you're thinking of? New form of thinking? Yeah. Yes, I, you know, I, I propose to say that uh, we must define a, a new form of freedom. I think freedom today is uh, largely the freedom to, to buy something, uh, uh, or the freedom to, to have money, or the freedom to do what we want when we have the money to do. <laughs> And so uh, uh, the freedom of today is in fact a sort of material freedom which is on strong dependency of the situation, of the crisis, and so on. 
And so uh, maybe uh, we, we must uh, search and, and find another definition of freedom, which is much more at the subjective level, and on the side of creation, if you want, on the side of uh, the possibilities uh, of uh, mankind as such, and uh, in the field of uh, new forms of political organization, new artistical creations, uh, uh, new inventions, uh, new, new style of life, if you want. And it's a general direction. Uh, to propose a new definition of freedom, that the formal one uh, definition today, which is a, a mixture of uh, materialism, to have money, and to uh, representative vision of uh, politics. We have some governments and so on, but all that uh, cannot define really freedom for today. And my final question, what is your advice for young people today? I think that for young people today, my, my, my goal is first to transmit my experience to transmit my experience uh, of uh, an old man, in some sense, uh, which uh, has no something, uh, a, a really different world before. A world with a political hope, with revolutionary ideas, and so on. And uh, uh, first to, to transmit uh, that sort of experience, uh, to understand clearly that uh, uh, those different subjectivities can exist today, because it was not uh, so many years ago, it was some 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, uh, we have different subjectivities. It's the, it's the first point in the transmission, after, after all, when we have an experience, we must transmit to young uh, women and men, and after that, to, to reconstruct the possibility to be optimistic.